Hey guys, it's Tara and today I just wanted to do a video on some dupes that I found for the La Vieste Belle by uh, Lancome. This is obviously everybody knows this is a really popular fragrance. I actually don't own it, which is why I just have this little sample card here, but I always, um, whenever I'm like at Dillard's or in a department or even at Sephora, I always smell this fragrance. Um, I just think it's, it's really pretty. Um, a few years ago, I probably, I didn't really like it at all, to be honest. Um, I think it's the patchouli in it. Maybe, I don't know, but I really think that, um, La Vieste Belle, it has a beautiful dry down. It's a gourmand scent. So it's got a lot of sweet, um, it's very, very sweet. Like in the dry down, it becomes sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. And that's what I really like about it. I feel like it's, um, it's kind of a polarizing fragrance. I think people either truly, truly love it or they don't really, or it's too much for them. Like it's too strong, but I think it's a beautiful fragrance, um, minus the patchouli, but I don't know my sense, my nose, I guess has changed. Um, and so I would probably purchase it now. I just never have because I found some really great dupes for it, which is what I was wanting to share with y'all today. So the first one, um, so first of all, I want to read the notes that are in La Vieste Belle. And I'm probably saying that completely wrong because I'm not saying it with like a French accent or anything, but let's look at what the notes are. Okay. So it says, um, the opening provides fruity flavors of black currant and pear, which I love pear and fragrances, and I love black currant too. While the base is warm, a warm gourmand and powdery due to the almond-like accords of tonka bean, praline, patchouli, and vanilla. So I think the only thing that I personally don't care for in this fragrance is patchouli, but everything else in it I love. I love pear, I love black currant, um, I love anything that has like tonka bean or praline, which is going to give you a really nice sweetness. Um, and also vanilla. I love anything that has vanilla in it. And, um, so let's get into the dupes and then we'll look and see what, how they compare like with their notes. Okay. So the first dupe that I have, I've had this for a while now and it is by BB and I'm going to have to actually look up what the name. I think it's like BB love or something like that. I'm going to have to, I'm going to look it up here in just a second, but this is a beautiful fragrance. This smell on the dry down, I feel like it smells a lot like uh, La Vieste Belle. It's not a complete dupe for it. It kind of, when you first spray this, it's got like a burst of fruit. Like it's like a fruit scent and we're going to have to read the notes and see what all it is, but um, I'm going to spray it real quick. And this has like a really powerful sprayer. So, well, it kind of smells like alcohol at first, to be honest, but after it starts, I, I really smell, gosh, it's almost like a strawberry scent to me in the beginning. And it's starting to sweeten up. I smell like a strawberry raspberry, very like fruity smell is what I smell in the beginning of this. Now I feel like I'm starting to smell like maybe a vanilla or tonka bean, like mixing in with the fruit, but still very strong on the fruit. But the more that this fragrance dries down, it's actually what I'm wearing right now. I think when this actually completely dries down, it smells exactly like La Vieste Belle. It's a little bit more tolerable to me because I love fruity fragrances and this has a lot of fruit in the beginning and I, I really love that. So I'm going to look up and see what the, and it's really long lasting too. And I picked that up at Ross, I believe. Oh, it's called a uh, BB kiss me is what it's called. Okay. So, okay. So, um, this, that fragrance launched in 2017. The top notes are pomegranate and fruity notes. So, okay, pomegranate is probably what I was really smelling. Middle notes are jasmine and rose. Base notes are tonka bean and honey. So not a ton of similarities, but somehow that composition is very similar to me. I don't know, y'all might think it's different, but if, I feel like if you like La Vies Belle, you're gonna, you will love um, that, fra that perfume. So I got that, I can't remember how much I bought it for at Ross, but it was really inexpensive and it is a huge bottle. And this lasts, this has a really great um, staying power. It will last on your skin and your clothes all day. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. 
and I just love this one. Okay, so the next dupe that I have, I've had for a while too, and this is actually an in-style uh, fragrance from Walgreens. I think I paid like $12 for this, and this is absolutely beautiful, you guys. This is actually the dupe for La Via Spell, but it's not as strong. I think the patchouli in this is not very strong, but like even smelling it right now, I can smell it right out of the bottle. Like usually if you can smell a fragrance right out of the bottle, that means that it's going to last and it's going to be really strong. This has the most beautiful, sweet dry down. I know a lot of people don't really like to wear heavy fragrances in the summer, but I love this one in the summer because I feel like it just, when it's warm, the warmth just brings out like the sugariness and the gourmand notes in this. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. When I bought, when I was at Walgreens one day, I always like, even though I have this fragrance, I'll still stop and smell it because I just love smelling things. And the lady um, that was working at the beauty counter, she was like, oh, I have people come in here that love this and they like it more than the, than the original. And I was like, you know, I think I kind of have to say that I like it too. But then I've heard other people say no, you know, because the Lobby's Bell will last on your clothes for like weeks if you don't wash your clothes. Um, and this, they say that this one doesn't last as long, but this will last on me all day. I just need a few sprays. I don't have to reapply. And this is a really, really great dupe. Okay. And I'm not going to read the notes on that because it is supposed to be a dupe. So the notes are going to be similar to what's in Lobby's Bell. Okay. So, um, the, my next dupe, I actually just found this and I just love this bottle. I think it's so pretty. It's got like this um, le like pink leather on top. I just think it's so cute. Anyways, this is, I found this at TJ Maxx and it is uh, Mari Bella Pour Femme, Pour, bleh, Pour Femme, Mari Bella Pour Femme. And um, I just think this is a stunning bottle. This was $12, which is for, I mean, y'all know La Vies Belle is, Upward, it's in the 80s for the smallest bottle and over the $100 mark if you get the big bottle. And I, this is not an exact dupe, but it's super, super, super close. And I, I think I like this one better, honestly. Um, oh, it's so pretty. This is so pretty. So let me find what the notes are for that one. Okay. It's just, it's just like super sweet and beautiful. I just love it. Okay, let's find it. Okay, so these notes are actually really similar. Um, it says that the opening notes of black currant and pear, which it, were also in the La Vie Espel, um, providing for a, a fruity flavor and base of warm almond-like accords, tonka bean, praline, vanilla. So this is like an exact dupe. But to me, I don't, but there's no patchouli in this, and that's probably why I really, really, really like this. Um, but there's also, um, I think the patchouli in the La Vie Espel gives it some depth and it, it it probably, it gives it some layers. It gives some layers to the fragrance. I feel like there are other dupes that I've smelled like very similar fragrances to La Vie Spell that can just kind of sit on your skin and never change throughout the day. That's not the case with this. This doesn't, I didn't see patchouli in this, which is why I probably like it more, but it, it smells almost exactly like it. It's just, you're gonna get the more sweeter um, fragrances coming out of this one. So if you really like the sweetness of the La Vie Spell, go and find, go and see if they have this at your, uh, TJ Maxx. You can also find it on Amazon and eBay and there's some other other online perfume stores that you can find this for a really great price. It is just absolutely, absolutely stunning. This is probably my favorite out of all three um, and I'm really, really glad that I found this one. Okay guys, so the next thing that I want to do real quick in this video because I don't really know exactly where, <laughs> where I'm going with my channel right now. Um, I know that I'm, I love fragrances and I'm seeing that a lot of people are doing fragrance videos now and um, I love that and I want to be able to share that and I have, I have quite the perfume uh, collection, so collection. So um, I want to be able to share some of the stuff that I have for that, but I still, obviously I love makeup and all that. So. Um, which is what my channel was all about before. So um, before I end this channel, I, before I end this video, I just wanna talk about what I'm wearing on my face because I always watch people's videos and I'm always wondering what they're wearing and they might mention it in the description bar, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show y'all real, really, really quick. Okay, so um, the foundation that I am wearing is the Stay Naked Foundation by Urban Decay. This is their newer release. It's 
I, this is really, really beautiful. I really like it a lot. Um, the powder that I'm wearing all over my face is Laura Geller. It is her Baked and Baked Balance and Brighten, and this is in the shade Fair. Um, the eyeshadow palette that I used today is the Jaclyn Hill. Um, it came in her vault collection and it is the Bling Boss palette. It's the purple one. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes. Um, for my highlight, I'm using the NYX uh, Three Steps to Sculpt palette. I really love this palette. You can see that I've hit pan on it, um, but I'll use this to set under my eyes and then I, I use all of it. Um, but this is the highlight that I used today. And to set under my eyes, I use the MAC um, Light Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in light. For my eyeliner today, I am wearing the Maybelline uh, Master Precise All Day liquid liner on top. And then to line my waterline, I use the Milani um, Stay Put Eyeliner. And for blush, I am wearing Rimmel Maxi Blush in Wild Card. On my lips, I have a combination of the Fenty Beauty Uncuffed uh, Liquid Lipstick. And then I kind of wipe that off and then I put like, I take it off and it kind of like lines my lips and then I, I'm wearing the NARS um, unlaced uh what is this their velvet glide lipstick i really really love these i've had both of these forever actually and on my brows i don't have it with me but it's one of the kat von d pomades and it's like the third darkest shade it's the it's the brunette one and then to oh for mascara I am wearing the Lash Sensational Mascara. And then for my lashes, they are the Ardell. Um, they're the Double Up with the Wispies and the Demi Wispies. And then for my setting spray, I am using the Hard Candy Glow Sheer Envy Setting Spray. I love this stuff. It, it, it's so beautiful on the face. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for joining me again. Sorry if it was all over the place. Um, but I'm glad to be back with y'all and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.